Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. And in this video, we are going to look closely at biochemistry. Now biochemistry can be a little intimidating because of the factual questions and because uh, it is not very easy to remember and learn. But here we look at the trend first to see how many questions to expect in biochemistry in your exam. Now as you can see over the past six years there have been a range of around four to six to seven questions every year which accounts for nearly three percent of your uh, number of questions. And you can score a maximum of 28 marks if you answer all questions correctly. Right? Now in order to understand what topics are most important, we'll be first looking at the questions and then we'll map them to specific topics. Right? So I have a list of all these questions on my right and the topics are segregated on the left and I'll be assigning them one by one to see which topics you should focus on. So the first question is, uh, on allopurinol and xanthine oxidase inhibition, which is an enzyme kinetic question. Then the next question talks about increased level of potassium hyperkalemia and the sources associated with that. So that's on mineral metabolism. Then here you have an image based question. This is Castle's necklace, which is associated with niacin deficiency vitamin. Right, then the next question is on uh, Kaser Fleischer rings and sunflower cataracts, which is a symptom of Wilson's disease associated with copper toxicity. So again, mineral metabolism. Then we have a question on DNA helix, and this is a nucleic acid nucleoproteins question. Then we have a 30 year old male showing symptoms of vitamin C deficiency. So vitamin is important and in the next question we have transport to mitochondria for acetyl CoA and the process with this image based question. So remember the image and this would belong to lipoproteins and lipid transport. Then the next question is on a 32 year old male with uh, the chief complaint of difficulty of seeing in dark and there is decreased phytanic acid in lab investigation. These are symptoms of Repson's, Repson's disease, which is associated with beta oxidation. Now you can find the explanation here. This is due to lack of alpha hydroxylase, which is phytanic acid oxidase. So you can go through the video explanation where we discuss each question in depth, where we understand how to omit other uh, options, how to eliminate other options and then come to a conclusion. Then the next question is on propanyl uh, CoA, which is a cofactor in beta oxidation associated with odd chain fatty acids. So this goes to beta oxidation topic. Then again, we have vitamin deficiency seen in chronic alcoholics. That's thiamine. It's a classic question. You will see that very often. Then most common feature of Hohler's syndrome, which is mucopolysaccharidosis or gargoyalism and the symptom is corneal clouding, which is from carbohydrate metabolism and glycolysis. Fruity odor of urine is associated with diabetes mellitus. Then we have this image based question uh, of uh, nucleic acid metabolism. This is transcription. Which of the following is an antioxidant alpha tocopherol that's vitamin E. And the vitamin uh, deficiency seen in alcoholics. So this question is repeating earlier. We had thiamine as an option here. We have B1. So vitamins are important for exam. Which of the following is an essential amino acid, not an essential amino acid. So that's amino acids. Which of the following is not a basic amino acid again an amino acid question. Which of the following is an enzyme indicator in chronic alcoholic patients? That would be gamma glutamyl transpeptidase. That's an enzyme question. Then serum, creatinine, urea, electrolytes and alkaline phosphatase are tested for renal profile. So these are all enzymes 
associated with kidney disease. Beriberi, that's vitamins seen in thiamine deficiency. Mitochondria are rich in which enzyme of gluconeogenesis, so that's carbohydrate metabolism, citric acid cycle. Then true regarding carbohydrates, so there are four uh, statements talking about carbohydrates. Here lactose and maltose are disaccharides, that's basics of carbohydrates. Enzyme which causes uncoiling of DNA during replication, this is from nucleoproteins that is helicase enzyme. Then copper containing enzyme, again a question on uh, enzymes, lysyl peroxidase. Then a method to map gene on particular locus in chromosome is known as linkage analysis. This is from nucleoproteins. Then the question on positive nitrogen balance, which is seen in pregnancy. This is mineral metabolism. And last question is RAS gene is inhibited by and that is GTPase activating protein that is nucleoproteins. So now on my left we have a fair distribution of these questions on the basis of the topics that they belong to. And as you can see uh, vitamins is like the most popular uh, topic where you will expect a lot of questions followed by nucleoproteins and enzymes and then metabolism of carbohydrates lipids and proteins is something that follows. Now uh, based on this we can see that you must focus on these questions on these topics for sure but that doesn't mean you are going to miss out on the not so popular topics because you can still expect uh, fresh questions and new questions from them but the idea is to understand which are the hot favorite topics and to be able to map them to the app. So based on whatever popular topics you've seen, the focus areas, you can practice all of them here in the tasks in the app. Now, how do you make use of these tasks? So suppose if you want to prepare, uh, say beta oxidation. So you go to prepare and you will see that there is bytes and workbook, right? So you will find all the necessary notes that you require to prepare for beta oxidation. So go through the notes, go through the workbook, right? And you can also watch the video on beta oxidation and fatty acids to understand in further detail. And then you can take the test or practice the questions. Now, when you practice the questions and take test, you will also come across MCQ videos to understand the explanation in detail, like I've shown you before. So once you finish one task, you are going to continue taking all these tasks and build up your foundation. And now I will tell you how to maximize your preparation with Meritor's app. Now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time. Number one is to start with tasks. Like I said, tasks are the building blocks. They are your foundation and fundamental for any subject. You need to start preparing for the task with the workbook. You, you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test. Now, whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions, each question comes with the answer, explanation and key concept. The explanation will be elaborate. It will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic. It is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations, right? And if you are well versed with the topic, you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind. Additionally, a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos, which are explanatory videos. They are going to talk about how to eliminate options, how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic. So your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is QBank. Now QBank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions. They are clubbed together in uh, topics, they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions. Again they will come with explanatory videos, explanations and key concepts. So once your tasks and QBank for a given subject are complete, you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests. Now the tests are of two types in the app. One is the weekly checkpoint test and self-paced test. 
I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week, you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget. It's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them. So the revision is reinforced. Plus you also get personalized AI recommendations, right? So at the end of your test, based on your performance, you will get how many questions you answered, what was the score, how much was the negative marking, where are you lacking? What are your stronger points? And then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects. So with this strategy, you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses. Now that is an exceptional feature of Meritus app. And the next set of tests is self-paced test, which you can take at any given point of time. These are subject-wise tests. You can also have cumulative tests. Multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests and towards the end of your preparation phase, you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes, which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now, once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern. That is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now, apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you'll be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.